he's a good judge, isn't he? OK, start of the second half now. I reckon we might see a lift in intensity too from the West Coast Eagles. Umpire puts the ball down. And Cox was manhandled and Cox will win the free kick. Yeah, Redden has been pretty quiet today. Allowed Cox to uh, get the free kick for shepherding. So Big Dean Cox, as we said, a wonderful player over a number of years. Good skills for a big man. Kicks out towards the half, oh, fourth flank. Boat, boat got in there, put up a paw, did it beautifully. Found Wingard, got collared quickly. Oh, Tried to find Boke oh. again. Under pressure now, the Eagles already can see him going a little bit harder. Gaff on the out of there, can't get in there. Hearn in there. A wall of players go after it. Free kick Umpire high. found a free kick. Going to go to Port Adelaide and halfback flank and Broadbent. He plays on quickly, looks for Red on the Great other kick. side. Beautiful kick with pinpoint accuracy. Did very well now. Ooh. Feeds it back towards Kane Corns. Corns again gets involved. Just oh, a little smart, kick and a good hey. vision to Braddy. But now they're running really hard. On the other side was it O'Shea. Yes. A long kick towards 50. goal. What a kick. What a goal. Umpire says nine pointer. What a start to Port Adelaide too. That's an apex goal today. They ran hard from a half back right to half forward. And O'Shea on the end of it. A uh, little bit of icing on the cake there, Jake. The perfect start for Port Adelaide. All started with Matty Broadbent taking the risk to switch the ball to Redden then. Redden was composed, handball the back. Kane Corns, handball back. Beautiful kick to Cam O'Shea there, and he's just gone bang from 50, and what a fantastic kick by him. So great start for the power. Very good uh, clearance, wasn't it? Across the deck, and uh, finished off with that magnificent running goal by O'Shea, a nine-pointer. Gives them a big advantage. One thing I have noticed that's can change compared to last year is the power's kicking the ball a lot more longer when they go for their switches, and they're not going laterally. It's forward, a forward switch. Long so kick, yep. Back in the middle, and Pritis winning a clearance. Got it out the door to Shuey. Shuey to Crab, back again, tackle, wrapped up, just a lack of intensity again. Boke's got him, and holding the ball. Great so tackle. Boke at half back, wants to get on with it. Quick kick to Paul Stewart. Appears to have moved back to half back. He's going to go for a long switch to Pittard, right over the other side. He's just chipping it over the top to the running O'Shea, who makes the effort to get there at half back. They're running hard, pal. Yeah, that good, was good Cam stuff. O'Shea ran from the centre circle there to get that ball. It was a good 70, 80 metres. 22 point lead, and Paul Stewart's worked his way over to the other half back flank to get another touch. He now kicks it again to O'Shea, so they've shared it twice. O'Shea, just on the tip of the square by the time he kicks, will look up the line this time. Goes long towards half forward. In front here, contest winds over the back. Loby might have to do the roving. He's beaten to it by Hearn, though. Puts the pressure on and wins it back, the big man. Got it off to Winger. Can he take it cleanly? He's got it now. Gives, gives off to Loby. Loby's left foot kick into Eagle territory. There's a lot there, but then coming. Oh, Shuey just cleaned up the middle. A beautiful hip and shoulder into Shules. And Shules has been. Shules' free kick. Played a free kick. In the back. Oh! And, and Shuey's arguing the point, and i got to agree with him. I did not think that was in the back at all. Shuey dropped the knees there, boys. Is that what was it about? Straight into Schultz's back. It was probably a bit unlucky he didn't get the free kick early there, Schultz, but go forward, and uh, Shuey unfortunately is went into his back with his knees. Razor Ray Chamberlain there, it? sure it? is. Razor Ray's back in it. <laughs> like yeah. a traffic cop out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is going to really do some damage on the scoreboard. He's only 15 metres out, dead in front. Jay Schultz, one of the best kicks. Put your house on it, Tim. Three Come and on. a half minutes into Show the third some courage, son. Of course I will. House is safe. <laughs> it's a goal to Schultz. And I reckon now he has topped himself off with a couple yep. this evening. He's got two. One of the first, one in the third. And Port Adelaide extending the lead. They're uh, one super goal, 9-2. They'll move to 6-10. Oh, that scoreboard's a little bit Don't confused. worry about that scoreboard. Super it's all goal, 10-5. Just... Uh, I think you'll find that that's even further out to 5 7 37. Port Adelaide will lead by 28 points. Yep, just we won't be relying on that scoreboard on the other side. Very, very slow, but we do know Port Adelaide holds sway, and holds sway decisively. They're playing some, some super footy. I'm sure, the coach will be very happy. That's on the RAA insurance scoreboard. So back in the centre, the Eagles. No shell shocked at the moment. Port Adelaide have kicked nine of the last 11 goals. and. The young side full of confidence. Umpire's seen something. In fact, he wants the footy on the attacking side just for West Coast Eagles. They've had one player up forward in Kennedy. Darling's done some good things. The rest haven't done too much. The blood rule has been in force. Andrew Moore. Some more coming off. 
and Young about to come on. And also a couple more changes. Broadbent, Hartlett, Boak all ready to come on. So changes being run quickly. Just a matchup, guys. Jackson Trengrove has stayed on Kennedy and big Bobby Carlisle's on last set out of the goal square. And obviously McKenzie's gone to Schultz up forward. Well, on the TAT, TAB Tats, but West Coast were a hot favourite tonight. Port Adelaide have the biggest lead of the game. It's 28 points. Just their intensity and desire and the energy levels have been really pleasing tonight. Weren't so good last week against the Demons, but four or five players have been included this week. And they've all played pretty well. Prittis can't get it out. Scotty Silwood on the bottom of the pack. Found Rosa. And a thumping kick up towards full four. Danger here for Port Adelaide. Right Carlo on, did well. Got in front. Ooh. Went to ground at the crucial moment. Kennedy, the man of the moment. He gets wrapped up by two. They bring him to ground. Took a while. Umpire says, I'll take it. 35 out from the Eagles goal. That's better from Bobby Carlo there. We want him to see physical and lights out there and punch the ball away. And his second effort to get that ball was awesome as well. Forward pocket, Cox lays it down to Rosa. Rosa tried to get the hands out, he did okay. Campbell Heath in there for Port Adelaide with Lacroix, wrapping him up in a tackle. The umpire said, hell to him. Great tackle by Lacroix then. A lot of the Eagles stars out. have been quiet though tonight. That's a really have well done to Port. Redden got it down in the path though. I reckon it's Prittis, Prittis over the boundary line. He's taken for a throw in right forward pocket next to the behind post. They trail by 28 points. The Eagles, they'll want to get a goal here keep themselves in the contest. Bounty. Thrown in. Well done, Redden. Got it down to Kane Corns. Kane couldn't get it away. He's tackled. Umpire He's sorts it back. out with an in-the-back free kick. I could see it coming a mile, David. Yeah, the player that wants to get a bit of the ball, and he's been so good pre season is the West Australian boy in Mitchell. So far, very, very quiet. Hasn't really troubled the scorers. So the power are playing some really good footy. And Ollie Wines on the left. Did well, well to pull Stewart. Didn't panic the young Great man. Composure. Great composure. Great composure. And spots his man. I've so. been really impressed with Port Adelaide's spread as well. They spread really oh. well then from that free kick. It's been outstanding. Improvement this year pre-season has been enormous. A kick along the wing. Young got pushed out of the contest. The umpire said no free kick forthcoming. In the back. It goes out of bounds on the interchange. There's about five power players are ready to come on. They're all lined up in the queue like waiting for a bus rosa now shorts it not a great kick and brad even said thank you very much from an old teammate and takes a mark and a half back 65 port adelaide 37 eagles big margin 28 as eberts kicks a long one up oh, they go oh, oh, terrific marks have been paid got to get a group mark of the night not nope. played to shields schofield underground handball boat got hit high eagles going in hard now well done by Darling. He got brought down, the big fella. Boak again working hard. Finds Westhoff. High ball. Catch that if you can. Lysa can set himself in front of the pack. Couldn't quite complete it. Had ball to be ground. Knee did okay. Back towards centre half forward. Here's a chance now for Stewart. Gives up to Boak. Boak into the pocket. Out comes Shields. Shields into Schofield. Shields, Schofield, the footy. Schofield goes up the ground. Supported there by Gaff. Gaff bides his time. To Waters, Waters a long kick. In fact, it might have been Smith a long kick outside the 50. Great mark. And a very good mark's been taken there by Heath. So Campbell Heath, as he's calling the Laconic, he moves just slowly, but he's got some nice things about him. The boy from Sydney, back into the pocket he goes. And Shields might have given away a free kick. Yeah, got caught behind there. Just couldn't get the front position, so we'll give the free kick away. Schofield would play on. His kick oh, is a mongrel. Yuck. Nearly taken by E, but went through his hands. At the back of Ollie Wines. Quick, no, sorry, that's Wines that's collecting it now. He gives it back. Well oh, done, Stevenson. Little kick and find Zab Brady, but inside 50 had to play on. Kicks a wobbly one towards. Goal's going to land in Aaron yes. Young's hands. Very, very fortunate for him. Aaron Young, right forward pocket, right up against the behind post. No daylight. Kicks it in front of West. Oh, takes the mark oh, in the square. Beautiful this body is what work. we wanted. How good was that body work? Just pushed off with the one arm, took it with the other one. Just great composure to mark that ball right in front in the goal square. This one is a shoe in. Justin Westhoff, very, very good in the one-on-one -on -one in the air. And he is right on the tip of the square. So only 10 metres out by the time he kicks. You would expect him to get it and extend Port Adelaide's lead. 28 points at the moment. He makes no mistake. He kicks it. And Port Adelaide surge ahead. And they will go one super goal, ten normal goals and five points, I reckon, to a lead of 34 points over the Eagles, who are 5 7 37. And that's all on the RAA insurance scoreboard. Good guys, stats, good to go. 
Travis Spoke has lifted his work rate in this quarter. He's up to 16 disposals with Hamish Hartley still on 13. Keynes Corns is getting up there with 12. Ollie Wines with 11. For the Eagles, Luke Shuey still had the 13 with Schofield 13. Waters 10 and Kennedy 10. 5 double FL and 6 PR footy. Thanks to Agostino Mitsubishi in the Thirsty Camel. Eagles a little bit shell-shocked at the moment. It's been all the power since about the 15-minute mark of the first quarter. Up go the big men again in the centre. Taken there by Red and found Brad Ebert. Ebert again. A high ball towards oh. half forward. Waters gets under it. Should take the mark. Reads it beautifully. Well, he won't deviate. And Bo Waters, he's probably leading position. Get her up there for the Eagles. Yeah, he's at 11. Just works it out wide. Had plenty in the first quarter too. Fine for McKenzie. A little bit quiet this afternoon or this evening. So the Eagles just a bit of stop-start footy. Can't get any real momentum going as we speak. So the hurry kick now back towards the centre. Schofield takes a nice mark. He played OK tonight. Yeah, that, that was a great kick there by Shuey. Really oh, opened up the courage. Game. Glass, Glass, a strong mark. Had a super year last year. Darren Glass, like a fine red wine, gets better with age. Plays on quickly to Lacroix. Not aware of what's around him, but goes long. Oh, Eagle's got a player all on his own. Oh, oh, and oh, drops oh, off the oh, chest. Oh. Unbelievable stuff there. Mark dropped and he's not happy there. That was McGinnity. Oh. But meanwhile, the play goes forward. They're going to get a goal anyhow. So very lucky there. A very easy mark dropped off the chest. And finally, the Eagles get a much-needed goal. It's 71 now to 49. 71 to 43. 11 gone in the third quarter. Disappointed effort there by Calhoun and Pittard. You know, they both got to communicate with each other a little bit more and, and smash that ball through. You, you know, you, you're five metres off the goal square. It's probably the most dangerous part of the oval. Just rush the ball through, boys, and just get it and then start again. Well, Darling kicked the goal, but it should have been a, a walk-up goal before that. As we said, a lucky break. This might kick-start the Eagles, though. They are back in the ball game. Well, they trailed there by 34. They got it back now to 28. But uh, even then, that was an ugly goal because the uh, ball bounced <laughs> off of uh, McGinnity's chest like a backboard. Well, couldn't find an easier mark, <laughs> could you? Oh, incredible. Maybe the lights. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Cox got the hit backwards. Both oh, nearly one possession, ball. but well done, Shuey. Terrific stuff. One possession. Got it off to Cox, who gave it off to Cripps, who tried to squeeze it out towards centre forward. Beginning, he's having a horror. At the moment. He can't get hold of it. Back in the hands of Cripps again. He's tackled well. Just inside the centre square at centre half forward for the West Coast Eagles. 12 minutes played, third term. Port Adelaide by 28 points. All on the RAA insurance scoreboard. Thrown up. Westhoff went third up, got it out. Boat tried to take it. In he was rammed there. into the ground. Be a free kick. Just got to be so careful that momentum doesn't take you forward. He squeezed the kick out. Westhoff has lifted. He's on the outside wing. This is what uh, they wanted. And Mitchell came. Mitchell couldn't hold the mark. He went back in to try and win possession. He's got the smother on the handball. Off the ground went Glass. Got it out the back to Gaff. Gaff did OK, Shepard. Eventually work at the Selwood. Still inside defensive 50, though, are the Eagles. And Scott Selwood with the footy in hand, looking up the ground. Very good young player, Scotty Selwood, as is the Selwood family. Bangs one to the far side. Mark not taken, but they've got the numbers again now. Gaff, he's away and off to the races. Bounce number three. Can run from centre wing to half forward. Draws the player, did it extremely well now. Chance for the Eagles. Hearn from 55, a big <laughs> kick. Terrific kick by the Eagles. They've got two in a minute. Super goal. It is a super goal, and he got the carry easily. Shannon Hearn, he can kick at 80. Only needed 55 on that occasion. It's incredible how a nine-pointer can get you back in the game. It certainly has here. And the margin cut back to 19. 14 gone, and that is an apex goal today. No doubt about that one. Yeah, it was great ball movement there by the Eagles. They really pressured Port out. They turned the ball over. And then just work the ball nicely through, and Shannon Hearn, that kick was unbelievable from 55. Just watching McGinnity, um, he's gone down straight down the race. Looks like he may be, in fairness, a bit of concussion there. Ah. The last two efforts were he dropped the chest mark and couldn't pick up a loose mm. ball, and he straight down, so let's hope the young fella's all right. Well, Gaff took off on the far wing and set that play up. Poor bounce in the middle to restart. Play has to be thrown up to restart. Loby v Cox. In the middle, 19-point ball game. Port Adelaide in front. This time thrown up. Loby went up high, looking for Hartlett. Found Wines instead. And it bounced off of the shins and went into Loby's hands. He kicked it out towards half forward. Aaron Young first upon it. Pit pushed back. out no. of it. No, umpire said play on. Get on with it. 
In goes uh, Kane Corns trying to win possession. Out the back to Hartlett. Hartlett gets to his feet, kicks it into the pocket, looking for oh. Schultz, who dives at the ball, but bounces off his chest over the boundary line, 40 metres away from the pot away goal. Just some breaking news, Tim, uh, to uh, Carlton will play Brisbane next week in the NAB Cup Grand Final. Even though they lost by three points, they've snuck through with a, on percentage they take on the Brisbane Lions. So good stuff. 71 to 52. Ruck that, infringement there. David Wildey, Tim Dinnerman, Jacob Surgeon. A power play of distinction joining us on the 5AA company team. All the way to to 6PR in That's Perth. That's better by need there. To the power now. A game on their hands. The Eagles have lifted their intensity, but they're freaking on the outer side. And Andrew Moore, just getting a bit worse for wear, will take it. Can't wait till he gets fit and plays a few games in a row because he's obviously got a lot of talent, Jacob, as Moore. Yeah, he's got a heap of talent. He's a great young kid. He's only oh, a, that's a bad kick there, but... You know, he has got a really nice kick, but um, he's just got to step up. He's an early draft pick. It's his time to shine, and he should be playing 22 games of AFL football this year. Mark taken by Mitch Brown, goes to Waters. Always finds plenty of it. A raking kick now. Good-looking kick to Cripps to standing Wingard. Just pops it over the top. So the West Coast have had a good last five or six minutes. Rosen out half back. The margin's 19 points. We've hit the 16-minute mark of the third term. And you know they'll keep coming. They would have got a rocket at half time, a nice kick. Josh Hill's been a quiet player, hardly caught him at all. Lacra read it beautifully, around the body, kicks towards the 50 metre line. Darling's back there, Darling and O'Shea. O'Shea got a nice super goal oh, area in the night. Ooh. He's gonna and get done here. Is it deliberate? Yep, yeah, yeah you, you called that from a long way home, Tim. So Darling, and Darling's normally a beautiful kick, it's a tough angle. Will he go for the check side or will he pass off? Kick the goal about four or five minutes ago still only a young man and a, a massive future ahead of him big strong body so jack darling right full forward pocket we have to go the banana you'd think last time he tried that on the other side went out of bounds to the full so what's the kick like tries to check side off the boot too narrow it is it's a behind a margin three straight goals now on the raa insurance score what 17 goal in third quarter 18 points. You can't work that out. Stevenson brings it back in for Port Adelaide to Kane Corns. He's got Pittard if he's quick. He does do that. Pittard now can swing on the left, pop it over the top. It wasn't great. He turned it over badly. Found Cripps. Cripps wants to put it into the hot spot. He does exactly that. It's punched away. Front center. Darling, he's doing some roving. Off the oh. ground he goes. Nearly a miracle. Just to the near side he did. And the Eagles press again. 17 points down. Now they are. On the RAA insurance scoreboard. See if Port Adelaide can make a better fist of it this time, bringing it back into play. Campbell Heath goes out wider still. Brad Ebert just takes the mark as they press up on him. 54 plays, 71. 18 minutes played, third term. Half back flank, Port Adelaide kicked it into the man on the mark. This could be a nasty turnover. Port Adelaide are under the pump, thrown out the back, but a. Uh, Eagles free kick. Eagles oh, free fend, kick. I think Fending, he fended off of the arm, did he? Oh. Yeah, Jasper Pittard put the elbow Don't out. Yep. Don't argue. Accidentally slipped. Elbow to the head. Josh Hill free kick. Josh Hill free kick. 45 degree angle. 30 metres out at the most. Could be well, a game changer, this one. Been a quiet player tonight. Josh Hill hardly touched the footy. Yeah, he has hardly touched the footy. He's only had the three disposals, but the Eagles' intensity in the last five minutes has definitely Lipped risen. It. It's He's lifted, kicked that goal, well. and he has missed an opportunity. Off to the right-hand side. Another behind to the West Coast. They'll go to 7-13-55, trailing Port Adelaide. Just a key stat, boys. Port Adelaide's kicking in efficiency as a team is 68%, so growing quite well at the moment. And the Eagles are 63, so they're going to have to lift that. Well, I tell you, the tempo certainly has lifted in the third quarter. Port Adelaide, they kick it on themselves and get it outside the defensive 50. Loby tried to trap it on the half volley. Lice at the former Magpie, did well. Now Selwood over the top is a real chance. Hill again missed a moment ago. Can he kick this one? Oh, I reckon he's got it. Yep. He missed 60 seconds ago, got the tougher one, and they are coming, and coming quickly. The West Coast Eagles have hit back the margin now 10 points. It was 28 not that long ago, and as we draw to the three-quarter time, the margin cut to 10. Good guy, Sats. Good to go. Luke Shuey's had 15 disposals. Schofield, 14. Bo Waters, 13. For Port Adelaide, Travis Boak is your leading ball getter with 17. Hamish Hartley with 14. And Kane Corns is starting to rack him up. He's got 14 as well, boys. Just repeating, Tim, the, the NAB Cup Grand Final next week, it's Carlton v Brisbane at Etihad. So uh, Brisbane, uh, well, uh, Lord under them, and uh, Carlton just hang in there. 
and they've got the other berth. Hot double AFL for Agostino Mitsubishi and the Thirsty Camel. West Coast pushing back. Only 10 points behind Port Adelaide now. Lead blew out to 34 at one stage in the game. So back in the centre, Prittis trying to get a kick forward. Brown missed the punch in the air. Hits the deck. Centre wing as the ball's trying to be dug out by Kane Corns now. He did get it out the back. I think it's Boat that's picked it up. He quickly got a little mongrel kick out towards half. Oh, great. Ball well done, Moore. Moore. Span out of it. Couldn't get his handball away. Umpire said play on. It's in the hands of Port Adelaide as they make another oh. mistake. I think that Cox, was... How good is that? Cox's tackle was superb on the Wingard. smaller, younger player, Wingard. Picked up now by Cripps around the body. Going to the hot spot. Players up there as a push in the back. Was it out the back, though? Hill has kicked two in two minutes. And they are marching on the West Coast Eagles. That was an apex goal of the night. Contender off the deck by Hill. He's got two. The Eagles now edge closer. They'll go to 9 13 67. Portalate one super goal, 10 goals, 5 71. Only four points of difference. RAA insurance scoreboard. Great composure there. Kicked it to Shepard. Shepard rolled on fast. Didn't go back off the mark. Just rolled on. Got it in deep to a contest. And unfortunately, Stevenson was caught behind Josh Hill. And when he caught behind Josh Hill, he's just going to, you know, run onto that ball and kick it easier of goals. So, you know, Port Adelaide just have to settle here. They're going to have to just block it up a little bit. Send maybe one or two guys back just to clog it up and just compose themselves so they can get... Well, they're not, out of, they're not out of this game. They're obviously up, but just to settle the game down. Josh Hill is still only 24 years of age. Had a couple of good moments, the former Western Bulldogs player. Prittis bangs it out now to the far side. Cripps after for the Eagles. Did pretty well too. Kept the ball in front, and the seas parted for him as he goes around the body. A high kick to centre half for. Can someone take a mark? Mm. It's Fumley now. It's say they're almost favourite, the Eagles now. They've kicked out the last three goals mm. and looked good, including a super goal. McKenzie... Slipped over. Little knee did okay. Went to his left. Back to his right. Works it inside the forward 50. Getting back his glass. A wonderful player. With him also, Shills coming through now. He's got support in uh, Smith. Come Colhoun or Cahoon. Big tackle, little fella. Did well. Brought down the bigger man. But the Eagles might be able to clear it. Was Just it out of bounds it. in the no, full? No, it wasn't. Touched before it went over the line on the full. Good effort there. Great. 71 to 67 margin, four points in the time on third term. And Port Adelaide, they just need a steadier because the Eagles have hit, hit back really hard. Cox against Redden, a lot of experience there. Tap was nullified, Redden met it beautifully, gave it to Young, who snapped around the body to oh. need. A little fella in front taking a good mark. That's a gotta get a group mark of the night. Big Sean Disbury be happy with that from the gotta get a group and need can go back, kick his first goal, and against the run of play, Jacob, they need this one. It's a fantastic tap, and even gather by a big Jared Redden there. Did well, didn't he? Big Did Cox. Just second, third efforts. Yeah, and Cox is, no, Cox is no slouch. Was composed enough to give the handball up to Aaron Young, who snapped it, and Little Needy was in front. And now he just needs to compose himself and put this through the big sticks. Only a young man, 18 years of age. Need, 35 out. Port Adelaide need a goal. Oh, Starts oh. out right. Oh, that wasn't a good kick under pressure. I think the young man felt a bit of pressure then. The margin moves out to five points on the RAA insurance scoreboard. West Coast Eagles get a breather. So, the uh, 72 plays 67, a five-point margin. They go right up the middle of the ground. Jackson Trengo punches away. But, oh, it was a uh, second grab. Darling. Oh, they're they're darling, here. he did well. Cox. Cox on the wing. Handball. Gives the handball up to Selwood. Selwood now being pursued by... Boak, as his kick was poor too. He really didn't need to do that. He turned it over at half back flank to uh, O'Shea. Good composure here by Cam, just slowing it down a little bit, not rushing it. Port Adelaide just need to probably chip the ball around, just keep the ball off West Coast, maybe just for a couple of minutes, and just get the ball forward. Paul Stewart with the ball now, just chipped over to him, only the fair, fairest of margins. He wants to switch play to the back pocket where Westhoff is. If he can get it over the top, he'll have Stevenson loose. The ex Eagle has it now. Looks inside. Oh, great kick. It is a good kick into the corridor and finds Broadbent who rolls on. He's just about tackled, oh, holding the ball. That was a magnificent Gee. effort. Who's that it darling? was Darling. He's had a good game, Darling, today. It's a terrific not... effort because Broadbent was away. It's nice having a guy six foot three who can chase and tackle, isn't it? On your he team? can run like your same ball. Middle of the ground, he kicks it up to that hot spot in front of the goals, but Jackson Trengo stands strong and takes a terrific defensive mark. I've got to get a group mark of the night contender. 
Yeah, nice work there, Tringo, right on the buzzer. And what a comeback there by the West Coast Eels. The lead got out to 34 points. It is now five, 72 to 67. The Powell clinging onto a five point lead. But some good work by the Eagles. They dominated the latter part of that third quarter. Let's go through the goal scorers for Port Adelaide. Chad Wingard's booted three goals. Jay Shields has got two and a host have got one, including Hartlett. They shake up the super goal. Uh, Stewart, Stevenson, Loby, and also Westoff for the West Coast Eagles. There's no place like Alice Springs. Welcome, welcome to Central, Central Australia. Australia! Hi everyone and welcome to Alice Springs. If you'd like to win your own Red Centre adventure, 